Good morning, everyone. Welcome to April 27th Market Minute. I'm John Hopkins, President of Invested Central. Right now, we get the Dow futures up 16, S&P futures are up 1, and NASDAQ futures are up 8. Asian shares were lower, while European shares were higher overnight. Futures were mixed early Thursday morning as traders awaited fresh economic news. Weekly jobless claims came out worse than expected, while pending home sales were stronger than expected. By the time the market closed, all of the major indexes had moved higher. Today we'll get Q1 advanced GDP with the market expecting a reading of 2.5%. We'll then get Michigan consumer confidence at 9.55 a.m. with the market expecting a reading of 757 Today's key earnings reports will include Chevron, Ford, Merck and Company, and Procter and Gamble. On the S&P, we've got the 20-day at 1384, the 50-day at 1382, and the 200-day at 1274. The S&P closed at 1399 with support at 1357 and resistance at 1410. The market started that week on Thursday, but that changed by late morning. In fact, as the day progressed, the S&P got stronger, touching 1400 before settling at 1399. The good news for the bulls is the S&P is now looking better technically, with the next level of resistance now near the March 30 high of 1410. If the bulls can manage to clear that level, then the April 2nd high of 1422 could be in sight. We've made it through another week, and so far the bulls have managed to hold the line. What might next week bring? No one knows for sure, but come Monday morning it will be time to start anew. This is John Hopkins. I'll be back Monday morning with another Market Minute.